Infamous for their devilish appearance, and oftentimes devilish behavior, the Deveronians are a race of horned humanoids from the planet of Deveron, a mountainous world with sweeping valleys and large connecting rivers. Deveronians were one of the very first space-faring races, as they had developed the precursor to the hyperdrive, known as the tumble drive. Already exploring the nearby reaches of their section of the galaxy, they were consequently one of the earliest races to join the Republic, sometime around 12,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. Their capital city, known as Montellian Surat, is even older than Coruscant itself. It was already extremely developed before the Deveronian people made their first jumps into space. Deveron remained a staunchly loyal member to the Republic throughout the majority of its known history. This loyalty to the Republic was nearly ripped asunder by the time of the Clone Wars. One of Deveron's most renowned and supposedly most loyal senators secretly allowed Separatist forces to establish bases on their homeworld. It also commissioned the bounty hunter, Ara Singh, to assassinate any potential whistleblowers who would give away her true affiliation. Luckily, Aelis Akira was able to uncover this plot with the help of the spymaster Thulm and the Dark Woman, Anya Koro, handing over this dissident senator to the Republic, where she was supposedly executed. After the commencement of Order 66, the planet of Deveron, like the rest of the Republic, was dissolved into the jurisdiction of the Galactic Empire. Soon many Deveronians would begin uprising against the Empire, but would be thoroughly crushed by the Deveronian Imperial Loyalists. Upon the Galactic Empire's eventual downfall, many of these Loyalists would escape the planet in hopes of avoiding trial for their heinous war crimes, as many were tried by both the New Republic and the Deveronian people, and summarily executed. While it would seem relations between the New Republic and the Deveronian people would revert back to their past state, the New Republic outright denied Deveron admittance into the Republic due to their harsh justice system, which we will discuss in a moment. Unfortunately, like many outlying planets, the planet of Deveron would face occupation of Darth Krayt's new Sith Empire, and many Force-sensitive Deveronians would be taken into the ranks of the Sith. Outside of these events, not much else is known. While most notorious for their demon-like looks, Deveronians actually vary greatly in appearance depending on their gender. Male Deveronians possess large and bull-like horns on top of the head, which vary in size and flow above a totally hairless scalp. Their skin comes in shades of fiery reds or earthy browns, and their eyes likewise, if not pitch black. They also have sharp incisor-like teeth, pointed ears, and a long tongue, only adding to their already impish appearance. Females, however, look little to nothing like their male counterparts, and even show signs of significant genetic variance within their own sex. Some Deveronian women are covered in thick tannish fur, while others are human-like in appearance besides their fiery red skin. Unlike the males, they possess no horns on top of their head, and in the case of those who are furless, instead feature two dark spots where these horns would exist. All Deveronians possess a high pain threshold and natural resilience to both disease and physical injury, and usually live slightly longer than the average human. Much like their appearance, male and female Deveronians are usually very different in demeanor. For whatever reason, male Deveronians are extremely susceptible to actions of brashness and immediate impulse, oftentimes landing them in a spiraling life of crime or binge gambling. Something within their psyche compels them to move about the galaxy and enjoy a life of constant travel, oftentimes just barely scraping by. Outside of their homeworld, they can often be found in the undercity of large capitals, or in areas where contraband is commonly sold. Despite knowing very well that many other races are unsettled by their demon-like looks, male Deveronians often consider themselves the apex of the most refined appearance, and take ridiculously large portions of their day to buff and shine their horns. Aside from gamblers, money launderers, common criminals, and scam artists, many Deveronians take up a life of illegal speeder racing, bounty hunting, theft stick dealing, criminal financial advisement, and private investigation which is more like rumor dealing in actuality. Females, however, are usually much different. Often intensely reserved and introspective, females are the true rulers of Deveron, as the planet follows a strict code of matriarchy, meaning only females can take positions of power. Despite their male counterparts' often destructive behavior, 
Devron holds some of the most severe methods of punishment in the entire galaxy, a fact that has disallowed them from taking senatorial position within the New Republic. One of the most popular methods of capital punishment in Devron was feeding the prisoner to a pack of starving Quora, which is a predatory reptilian creature known for its ferocious appetite. This punishment was even crueler than it first seems, because Deveronians often survived for long periods of time during this ordeal due to their natural resilience. If Deveronian culture didn't seem cold enough to you yet, family is often a totally meaningless title to them, and oftentimes Deveronians leave to never see nor talk to their family ever again, even if they were somehow to cross paths. It's not uncommon for no sort of communication or familial acknowledgement to happen between them. However, it must be remembered that like all sentient races, Deveronians have the potential to break through these archetypes and become something totally unexpected from their race, even perhaps taking up the life of a Jedi. The Deveronian Lord Manos was immensely dedicated to empowering poor alien workers, was the head of the galaxy's largest labor union. Regardless, due to their culture's rather impersonal attitude, and the male's innate need to live on the fringes of danger and adventure, Deveronians will oftentimes fall directly in line with these descriptions. Some notable Deveronians include the opportunistic Galt Reno, the butcher of Mentelian Serrat, Kurtisai Malik, the unusually cruel and cunning Darth Malady, and Quinlan Voss's unlikely companion, Billy Grark. <laughs>